We're here at class one in our uh, clean room looking at our couple of our KLA 10 core tools, cycling wafers. We're going to focus today on the um, AIT2 that's over here. Let's go over some of the steps we've taken through refurbishment as the tool cycles wafers. Show some of the different parts of the tool here. The tool has been refurbished and the Lynn is going to just cover the high level items that have been performed as we just see the tool the pre-aligner uh, pre line a wafer and then uh, load it onto the uh, onto the chuck. Lynn, can you just give us? Uh... Yes, yeah, so on this system, we uh, replaced the laser with a brand new laser. We replaced both PMT tubes and uh, did a full calibration at the 8 inch. Now it's just undergone the 6 inch conversion, so I'm just cycling some wafers to ensure that uh, all my teach positions are correct, that it runs uh, 6 inch without any errors. So that's something to, to note here, is that we've uh, modified and upgraded the uh, AIT2 to run uh, 6 inch uh, wafers. That's specifically uh, what, this, uh, what our customer has requested. And so we've uh, installed a 6 inch chuck Yes. and set up the tool to run 150 uh, uh, millimeter wafers. Um, and so Lynn, just to kind of cover it, uh, a new laser has been installed? Yes, a new laser. I did change uh, the channel 1 and channel 2 PMT tubes. Okay. And then gone through a calibration. Yes, full, uh, full system calibration. Full system, okay. Okay, then that's uh, that covers it. It's just a quick overview here.